It's 136 grams. And finally, we have very fine sand. Hundred and thirty six grams. Well we still need to weigh the bottom. This would be silt and clay if there's any uh, uh, present. Hundred and fourteen grams. So now we have the weight of the sieves and the weight of the sand, and we can start sieving. Now we're asking that you sieve for fifteen minutes to make sure that all the sand grains have a chance to move down to the next layer, because they're at first they're just sitting on top of one another. So they have the opportunity to work, and it take about 15 minutes, and we do this manually. So we'll put the sieves back together in the right order. Starting with go. the smallest on the right. bottom. Right, from and the that's, silt and clay. that's very fine sand. Here we are with fine sand, medium sand. These sieves are in nice shape. Medium, coarse sand, very coarse sand. And finally, gravel. Now that's all recorded in our uh, data sheet. So now we have to sieve. Okay, I hope you have a good lab partner. <laughs> okay, so we'll take all the sand in it and uh, put it in here. And if we do this right, we won't lose a single grain of sand if we do this procedure right. And so uh, here we go, we start sand sieving like this. I've seen people sieve like this, <laughs> uh, but you want to keep it vertical and shake it. And if you shake it a lot and vigorously, you're going to get good separation. So after 15 minutes, we're going to see what the the, uh, the sieves weigh with their sand in it. Okay. okay. Yep. So here we are. We've finished our sieving, and now continue to follow the procedure, standard procedure and that cause for weighing each sieve again, second time, only this time with the sediment in it. So if there's sediment in it, the sieve should weigh more. And we're gonna record that. So here we go with gravel. 229 grams. Coarse sand, very little coarse sand here. 161 grams. That was very coarse sand. Here we are with coarse sand. 186 grams. Medium sand. 357 grams. That's a lot. And I see there's less here in fine sand. Let's see what this is. 179 grams. There is some sand in very fine, not much, but some, and the, the balance says it's 137 grams. And finally, less than sand size, 114 grams. So now we know not only the total weight of the sand, but how much so each sand weighs in each one of these categories, and now we can do, go and record this data. So if you're looking at this the data sheet, it's asking you to, the mass of the sediment alone. Now, we got the mass of the sieve, and second, the sieve and the sediment, so we'll need to subtract the two, and then we can find out the actual mass of the sediment in each size category. We'll need to subtract that. And from there, we'll get the percentage. What percentage is coarse sand, what percentage is medium sand, and so on. It also tells you how to get the percent error here. So, um, so that's where we are now. We'll have to get that data, subtract that, get the percentage, and do a little statistics on it. <clears throat> So let me, let me remind you what we're doing. We, we did this sieving for the West Coast sand and we recorded our data and here are the percentages. And then we made a histogram of the West Coast sand over here. And what you're doing is getting the same data, getting data from the Pompano Beach sand 
from what we just did and making the histogram here and they shouldn't look the same. Uh, and you'll see a difference between West Coast and East Coast, pretty big difference. Uh, the next step would be to look through the microscope at these sands and uh, you'd be surprised how nice it is uh, through the microscope, nice clear grains of quartz and, and shell. Uh, but we may have to do that at another time. Okay. <laughs> Marco.